Hello everybody and welcome to Gilded Tips. I'm Admired Plague and today we are going to be covering how to create groups and what groups do within Gilded, how they work and why they are different than servers. So join me right now. Cue the title screen. All right, everybody, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you just came from the roles permissions video, thank you guys so much for watching all the videos. I appreciate it. Once again, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or want to see certain videos, please comment down below. Um, today we're covering um, groups, what groups are, how they're different than servers, and what you can do with groups. So I have a couple set up here for different things. I'm going to kind of cover what they are, how they work, and how you can create your own. So um, for instance, say you have a couple of games that you play and you only have a couple of community members or friends that play certain games. You want to keep discussion to that specific game. Typically in Discord, you would make a category that said Rust or Seven Days to Die or World of Warcraft or whatever it needed to be. You would have a category. But what that does is it makes these sidebars super long with a lot of channels and you have to scroll really far to find anything. Gilded has made it a little bit easier by adding groups. Groups are a way to categorize certain content to certain parts of your gilded server. So, for instance, my um, I am a partner on Twitch. I have a stream team called Infectious. Infectious is my stream team of, I at the moment, we have six partners, and I have a couple of affiliates, and we're going to be growing here in the next month or two. Um, if you guys have any interest as streamers to join Infectious, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to be opening this up to affiliates and partners in March. I'm doing a lot of back-end work to get this going. Um, at the moment, I kind of put it to the wayside. Anyway, regardless, I, you guys aren't here for that spiel. You guys are here for groups. So um, I have groups for that. I have groups for Twitch Columbus. Um, I am the event organizer for all uh, Twitch-related uh, events in Columbus. We are powered by Twitch, so that's its own group. And then I used to work at Target as a full-time job. I'm no longer there. I'm a full-time content creator now, but I still have lots of friends at Target that I play games with. So, for instance, we have Target is a group. Now, it only has a general chat and a voice chat, but what this allows me to do is all my friends that are in Target are able to be on, um, you know, in one little area. So we have our own section to talk this entire um group is only to target uh, the target role. So if you don't have the target role, you can't even see this. It doesn't exist on the side. So that's what they're for. They're for basically breaking up your content on your main server. So instead of it being flooded with a bunch of information like all this is, you're able to kind of consolidate all of your stuff into um, mini rooms so that you're able to um, you know, keep things kind of organized and people that want specific content can go right to the content. So let's get into making a group. Um, you want to click on the little plus tab here. Uh, from here, you can either join a group or you can create a group. If you join a group, what you can do, click on the little cog. It'll show you all the groups that are available that are public for you to join. So that way, you know, it, most of the time it's hidden. Most server people have it hidden so that it's not like jarring when you enter a server and you have C like 10,000 groups. A lot of them are just kind of like you have to join it. So it's specific to you. We're going to create a new one. We're going to just call it testing. Um, so you put your name in, you can put a little uh, picture here. The picture will show up on the left-hand side as your icon. Now, game is something interesting. Game, what this will do is out of the list of games that are already here, if you select it, it'll automatically make channels for that game um, that are popular amongst other Gilded servers. So we're going to do one because I most people will be using groups for games regardless. So if you have Among Us groups or Rust groups or Seven Days of Die groups, WoW groups, whatever, we're going to go with Rust only because that's something I'm going to be starting up here very shortly. Again, um, I used to play Rust back in the day. So we're going to try Rust. So it's got a little icon. You can have your own little icon here. Uh, membership is going to be for everybody at the moment. And then you put a little description. This is for the OTV Badlands Rust group. I'm not part of OTV, but I couldn't know what to put there. So OTV, Badlands, uh, wonderful Rust server, uh, tons of great content creators on that server. Um, anyway, going to create that. So you create the group, and now it gives you, um, you know, chat and voice. So from here, you're able to make all new things. You can make brand new channels. You can make uh, new categories. You're able to add roles and permissions to all this stuff. Because I have this set for everybody, everyone that's on the side or everyone that's in my server can now see this. Um, if I were to have gone into this, gone to settings and changed the membership to just say mod. And then when you give it a membership role, you can do additional roles as well. So not this would be like the main one for mods, changes the colors to red or whatever the role color is. It's kind of cool. Um, but then you're able to go through and you can add other people to see it. So now Infectious can't see it, Target, Twitch, Columbus, Epidemic, none of them can see it. 
or if you want to really get specific, you can add additional users. So no matter what role that user has, you can let that person see it specifically, which I think is pretty cool. Um, So then you also have the restrict who can see this group. Um, if you restrict it, like I just did, uh, now no one can see it unless you have the mod role. And then you could also, um, you could add more if you need to, but this is now restricted to mod and everything else I have set up. So let's update the group. We have it now in here. Now this is red because it's mod. However, because my VIPs can see it as well, they're also here as well. Um, my mod and me. So that's all that can see it. Uh, and then just like a normal server, you can create a new channel, channel name. Um, I can't type today, rest PVP. This is for PVP tips. Sure. Uh, and then we can make this a, uh, we'll just make a normal chat. Why, why not? Make it public. Sure. Bam. So now you have that there. Now, if you really want to, if you right click, you could also make a brand new category. And then we can name this uh, PVP. So now this entire category I have is just for PVP. PVP. We could drop this down, uh, and then you can make more, you know, things like uh, create channel within this. You can make this uh, PVP tools. I don't know, whatever you want to do. Uh, just give that, you know, the proper permissions, and you just drag and drop it where it needs to be. And then you could make another category called PVE, and then that's all for PVE content. So like, how do you get blueprints and where to find certain things? So. Uh, you can either do that by clicking the plus sign or just right clicking and then dragging where you want it. The plus sign will go right to that category. So this will be PVE, uh, I don't know, blueprints. Just randomly throwing random things in here for you guys just to kind of understand. So now if you go into any of these groups here, obviously everyone can see these. You can also change, you can tell who can see that by the list on the side, the list changes based on who's able to see it. So if you want to know who's actually seeing the content or who can look at it, always check your right hand uh, member list. All right, to make it so that VIPs cannot see something in this channel, you have to first make it unpublic. By making it public, everything that is set up to the PVP um, permission is going to um, allow them to see it. So first you have to go into channel settings, go to overview, and then you make it not public. Once you make it not public, then you can go, oh, gotta save it first, sorry. Whoop. Now we can go to permissions and we can go to VIP, we want them to be able to not see anything at all in here. They can't do anything. Save changes. Now, if you back out of this, they're now gone. VIPs are now gone from here, but if you go to PVP tools, they're still here because you have to make it not public. Public is based on the group, um, the group setting itself. So if you make something public, it's based on the group that you're in. So this was set up for mod, play doctor, VIP, and that's it by taking away the publicness of it, you get to choose who, who is basically excluded from that category. So by taking away, um, by making my permissions VIP and then taking away their ability to read or manage anything, that is what made it so that they could no longer see this. To fix that, you wanna go, if you want them to see it again, you can just go into VIP. Uh, I believe you just delete the member role there and now it's synced back up or you can just click sync now and what this will do is it'll sync it back to the main category because you can just go right back to what the whole category is so now if i were to back out again now vip could now see it again so that is groups that's how you create a group if you'd like to join a group you could always just click on uh, create or join if you're in a gilded uh click on the little cog here it'll show you all the different groups that are here and you could just join one mine to save you because i'm the admin so i can just click on whatever i want but you can join them as well that is groups. That is how those work. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. Um, hopefully you guys found this video to be um, useful, resourceful. If you guys learned something about groups, if you guys like groups, um, comment down below. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the videos so far and want to see more, like and subscribe to these videos because or my channel because I'm going to be posting a lot, a lot of stuff about Gilded. Um, I talk kind of fast. I'm really sorry about that. It's just who I am as a person. I try not to do cuts. Um, I like all my stuff to just kind of flow. It's how my brain works. Um, so thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. The next video, we're going to be covering um, how to create categories and channels. I covered a little bit in some in other channels, but I'm going to be covering uh, how to create categories and channels and how those kind of separate your content on each group or within your main server, whatever you want to do with them. Uh, and then you know, obviously settings throughout those. So that should be a really quick video. Um, with that being said, here's the last uh, the video coming up. Random ass video. Subscribe button somewhere. Click it. Thank you, guys. See you guys next video. Bye.